Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today's streaming extravaganza continues with my May Retro Game Treasure Box. This has been sitting here for a few days and I've been thinking, man, I wonder what's in here. Because I've been trying to spice up my settings more and more. And last time I had spiced up the settings but I left in some very common things that I've been getting in the past and I ended up getting only the things I've been getting in the past and none of the new settings. So I've been turning off more and more stuff. Hopefully now we get a, a bigger variety of strange things in this box. So we'll see what it is. If you guys don't know, this comes from RetroGameTreasure.com and uh, they send you um, random retro games based on your settings, such as what systems you want to get games for. Uh, and you also give them what games you already own so that you don't get any duplicates. And then you tell them what type of games you like to play, like I like skateboarding and wrestling games. Then they get you random mystery games for the systems you want that you don't already have and the genres that you like. It's good stuff. So if you want a box like this, go to RetroGameTreasure.com, use the code 5J, spelled like this channel, and you can get a discount on your first month. So I love this every month. I never know what I'm going to get. There's always some sweet hidden treasures in here, so let's see what we got. We got a bunch of folks in here already. Let's check some chats here quick. Aiden McFarlane, Mad LaBam, uh, Mr. Potato Lopez, Chelsea, Mr. Buffalo. Welcome, welcome, guys. Chelsea says, lots of streams today. You know, if I was full-time, I was just thinking about this. If I was full-time, this might be how I'd want to do my days, you know? I just do short streams throughout the whole day, you know? I, I get lots of breaks to do other things, and... Uh, I get lots of content out there for you guys. That's it's a variety stream for me, man. That's a very different stuff. Uh, Mr. Buffalo says Alberto made landfall a bit ago, getting some heavy rain. Uh oh. I hope you're safe, Mr. Buffalo. Find your find your way to some safety. Mad the band says if you are in the UK, UK they don't ship. That's too bad. I hope one day they get there. Uh, I know this was an operation that started in a guy's garage. So they're getting bigger. Hopefully, eventually, they'll have the infrastructure to support international shipping. Right now, they don't. So hopefully, someday, we'll get there. This this appears to be a very packed box based on what I just felt around in here. Ooh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be good stuff. All right, guys. I think this is maybe a Super Famicom game. What is the first game in the box? Ooh, Romancing Saga. Sweet. So, um, the Switch got a version of Romancing Saga 2, um, but that version had revamped visuals, so I'm curious to see what the original looks like. Very cool. Uh, I got a website here where I can hopefully get a translation patch for this, because I uh, need, need to play that in English. It's an RPG. Great first pull here. Now the man says it was raining in London as well with lightning. I think we got a thunderstorm warning coming up here as well, but not the same thing as a tropical storm that you get on the coast cities. So sweet. Uh, uh, Romancing Saga, by the way, is a Square game. I think it's not Enix. I think it's Square. This is before they were Square Enix, so sweet. Awesome first pull, RPGs. Let's see what else we got going in here. This is a CD cartridge here, CD case. All right, I think this is the correct way to show the camera. What is it? I don't want to look at the artwork on the back. Ooh, Road Rash 3D. I love the Road Rash games. Um, I think Road Rash non-3D is probably better. At least it's the one that I remember as a kid um, that I would play at my, on my uncle's PlayStation. But any Road Rash is good with me, man. I think this is probably on my wish list. The ultimate fight to the finish line. Ah, sweet. Love it, man. And this case is in pretty good condition. I'm pretty impressed. There's no cracks in it. Scratching, and that's very normal for these jewel cases. So it's looking good, man. Awesome. So we got Romancing Saga, Super Famicom, and uh, Road Rash 3D. We got a great start here. All right, how many other games we got in here? At least one. This appears to be a Genesis, uh, or perhaps... Um, Master System plastic game case. So it's a full, complete in-box game. All right, last game, I think. What is it? Oh, nice. You know, I've never actually never had this game. 
Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball on Sega Genesis. I think I might have played the Master System or um, Game Gear version, similar, um, on an emulator. But I have never played a physical version, and not a 16-bit version either. So this is the definitive version of Sonic Spinball. Oh, sweet. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of pinball, so I'm, I'm excited to finally get around to seeing what this game is like. This is also in excellent condition. This case... Oh, and it's got a nice... Oh, the manual's even in good shape. Look at that. All right. Manual is black and white. That's... A lot of companies seem to do that. Nintendo was good about printing it in full color, but... Looks really good. The cartridge is really nice, too. Man, whoever had this game, like, must have hardly played it. it sat on a shelf and looked all nice-like. I mean, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Up to four players can fight a whole new generation of... E four players? Was there, like, a multi-tap for Genesis? I didn't even know that. Huh. Um, let's see. Some new chats here. Mad the Bam says, No, Jay, the dark side. What? EA? Oh, EA is... Fine, especially old EA. Especially old EA. Now that I'm so Sonic Pinball is better. This is Sonic Pinball. Spinball. See, they did a play because Sonic Spin. Just kidding. Uh, uh, Dolores is here and says, Hi, what's up, Dolores? Madly, I'm so sorry. Sonic Spinball is better. This is Sonic Spinball. Oh, are you saying better than Road Rash 3D? Yeah, I don't know. Ro the old Road Rash games are awesome. We'll see how 3D is. As a reminder, we got Romancing Saga, Super Famicom. We got Road Rash 3D, PlayStation 1. Sonic Spinball, Sega Genesis. And because of the nice condition... Oh, there is one crack here on Road Rash 3D. The nice condition of these games... I don't think there's another one in here. I'm going to feel around, though, just in case. There actually is another fully boxed game, so it's probably Sega Genesis again. Okay, well, we got one more game in here, so... What is it? It's either Sega Master System or Genesis... Oh, California Games. Nice. By Epix. Yeah, this game is on um, on Atari Lynx, which is a, a low-end 16-bit system, versus this is Sega Master System, which is like a high-end 8-bit system. So I'm interested, actually, to see what's going to look better, a high-end 8-bit system or a low-end 16-bit system. The Lynx was doing some sweet stuff, you know. It was... Not as powerful as either the Genesis or the Super Nintendo, but it was able to manipulate some 3D objects and stuff. So, pretty cool. Again, this is a really nice condition box. The cartridge, though, seems to have maybe rental information. Buy this disc at 20% off only. Sorry, rentals only. Okay. Interesting. Not sure where this is from. There's a silver label on the side here. West Coast Video. Got it. Well, the cartridge is in nice condition for a rental. I'm actually very surprised it's not in worse condition than this. Again, it's got a manual, pretty nice condition as well. The uh, the Master System box is pretty ugly, if we're honest. The white grid, ugh. But the Master System was a powerful 8-bit console that had some awesome games, so... We'll have to uh, overlook the blandness of the box design because it is a good system. So, again, uh, games we got today... Looks like we had four solid games here. Romancing Saga for Super Famicom. Road Rash 3D on PlayStation. Sonic Spinball Sega Genesis. And California Games Sega Master System. We are going to play all of these games. So we're going to get busy with that. Anything else? I looked in, so good thing there wasn't anything else. Like I said, if you like this service, RetroGameTreasure.com, when you go to checkout, use the code 5J to get a discount on your first month. Whew, okay. Mr. Ruffle says EA executed, executed Order 66 on SimCity. That would be a thing they could do on the new SimCity. The newer ones. Matt the Bam says, bonus game! It was a bonus game. Let's see. What is it I'm looking for? Uh, translation patches. Where did they go? I know I got more. Okay, patch, patches. So I'm looking for Romancing Saga. Super Famicom here. Super Nintendo. Japanese to US. Romancing. 
R R R. Romancing Saga, the first one. Perfect. Ooh, I need to restart my uh, Retron 5 to do this here. Okay, and where does this go? It goes into... Uh, I think it's in here, games. No? Gee, I don't remember where I put all this stuff. I guess for now... 5J's junk pile. Where's 5J's junk pile? Guess it's going in here. Okay, I got my file I need, so I'll be uh, putting that on my Retron 5. I got to put my uh, green screen up here. Uh, the PlayStation 2 should be all ready to go. Most of these I'm playing on the Retron 5. Okay, I can close that now. Blip blop Louie. Uh, last couple of chats here. Oh, man, this is on your next stream played State of Decay 2. No, probably not. <laughs> Potato says, if you need to look at Discord for W for a second, what? Why do I need to look at Discord now? I don't see anything. What am I looking at? Not seeing anything. Okay. I'm going to go set everything up here. Um, not sure what's interesting for you to look at while I do this, so I just will we'll leave it as is. Downloading that file. Oh, the camera gets all out of focus, doesn't it? Where's my camera? Doing this one, right? Show me them camera proper properties. Out of focus, off. Okay, now it won't get all out of focus. At least it shouldn't. I might not have done that correctly. Okay, I answered a thing. What am I doing? Connected to my computer. The file I'm looking for. This. And this. Retron game patches. Sorry, this is super boring, but we're gonna make it work and it'll result in us playing an English game off of a Japanese game, so. Hey, it's got to be worth it, right? All right, now if we eject that. Okay, now I can put it in the Retron 5 and we can play the game. All right, again, the first game of the day, Romancing Saga. Switch the video over here because it's taking a few tries. Okay, this layout. One second, got to get the camera started. It's very smooth, isn't it? Man, I need I need some technical assistance. Somebody to be able to do some of this setup stuff. You know, make it a smoother experience for everyone.
Okay, let's see. Sorry, there we go. Now you see me. I got this wireless controller here. Come on. There we are. All right. Oh, not what I wanted. I got to apply the translation patch before we just play it. Game menu. Uh, game specific settings. Select a patch. Romancing Saga. No idea what do we need to do here, but... We'll just say select the patch. See if it works. That looks very much to be not in English. Might have to change a couple of the settings. In the meanwhile, Planner says, Jay, I have returned. I'm going to play my Minecraft while listening to your stream. Sounds good, Planner. Thanks for coming back, dude. It should be a most soothing experience. And says, Jay, where is your green screen? Yeah, I gotta put that up yet. There's more setup to do. Okay, I mean, maybe it was only a partial translation. That's English. That's not English. That's not gonna do. We're gonna go to this game specific menu again. Uh, Romancing Saga. Maybe it expects headers. Give that a shot. Also, this seems a little loud. Where's the volume slider? Let's see if this works. Hey! There we go. It's working now. Before the creation of mankind, when the world was young. We are going to read this later after we get the green screen set up. Okay. Green screen time. I'll be right back. Smooth, huh? I know how to make these transitions a smooth. Uh, okay, we got a corner to fix here. There we are. Hey, now we're in, in business here. Now that this is budget cuts today, Planner. <laughs> yeah, right? Planner says it's an Albanian Christian gaming live stream. What's Albanian Christian gaming? Is that some sort of meme again? Unsure what that is. Planner says, lol, I get to watch Jay set up his green screen. This is hilarious to watch. You like the floating disappearance of parts of the wall there? All right. We're in action here. We got the translation loaded and everything. Nick Figure says, The almighty green screen has arrived. Yes, it is. It is here. Before the creation of mankind, when the world was young, three wicked gods ex existed in this world. The eldest brother, Death. The younger brother, Saruin. If I said that completely incorrectly, I'm sorry. The youngest sister, Shirak. Again, I don't know if I said that right. They led terrifying monsters into war to challenge the humans and the lord of the gods, Elore. I'm just destroying all of these names right now. <laughs> this beautiful art so far, though. Wow. It was a vicious battle. Death and Shirak eventually surrendered to the might of Elore and the gods. However, Saruin refused to admit defeat. This music, too, quite beautiful. Look at this dude. He looks awesome. In order to imprison Saruin, Elore created the gemstones and chose a hero among the humans to bestow them unto. It's like the Infinity Stones! The chosen warrior, Mirsa, completed his duty and sealed Saruin away. By giving his life to fulfill his destiny, his name and the tale of the gemstones became a legend throughout the world. 
This game is Infinity War. Pretty much. Pretty much. Planner says, Jay, you should get a green morph suit and levitate a milk jug in the air for hex and giggles. Kicks and giggles is the appropriate G-rated way to say that. Potato Lopez says, little corner. Yeah, we got that little corner out of there. Bossy says, I'm back. Did I miss anything? We're just getting going now, so not really. Yeah, you missed the green screen getting set up and the drawing of all the games. Oh, see, I wouldn't have had any idea what this means. We understand now. Noble Son, that's the worst name. Oh, maybe this is class. Please enter the hero's name. Clearly, I am not the noble. So... Planner, you are the noble, sir. The noble son. I guess I don't really know if this guy's all that noble. Planner. Noise. Oh, man, this is great. I believe you, sir, are a battle mage. Choose your mother's heritage. What? What is happening right now? Your mother was a paladin. You're right-handed, why not? Sure, all of that's great. Between the kingdom of Rosalia. Oh my goodness, this is going by so quickly. What's happening? I thought I was going to get to name all these characters. It just, like, skipped forward. Planner says, yay! Jared Minax here. What's up, dude? Says, lol, nice planner. Their daughter, Diana. I already missed some stuff, didn't I? And their son, Planner. Yes! At least that much stuck. Nothing else seemed to stick. Ah, we're ready to go. I like this. It's sort of simple in that it looks like almost 8-bit because it's so far zoomed out. But I think it's good looking. There's, it's not as much detail in here as there, or, you know, probably could be, but I'm sure it's a gigantic game. Sure, save. Not quite sure which... Okay, why opened that menu? This must be uh, my sister, Diana. Monsters have infested the eastern cave. Let us go and wipe them out. Sweet, me and my sis gonna beat up some monsters. Planner says, Door Ladder, the Mighty Battle Mage. Yes. Mighty indeed. I picked Planner because it was the first username I saw, so. Just how it happened. Planner says, You know before you owe. Nick Figure says, I'm glad I came just in time. I cannot live on knowing I missed the live event of setting up the green screen. <laughs> Potato says, Look at my direct content on Discord. We're not going to have a direct contact right now. We'll discuss anything that you're privately messaging me about privately. Uh, okay. This must be our father and mother here. Oops, missed what she said. You'll soon be an adult. You'll soon be an adult. You'll soon be an adult. Okay, she doesn't say anything new. Monsters have infested the eastern cave. We are going to investigate. The two of you? Absolutely not. A girl your age mustn't do such things. But it is our kingdom's tradition for women to fight alongside the men. Besides, this will be good training for Planner. Hmm. I suppose you are right. You two, accompany Diana. Yes, sir. All right. You are a party of four. This music is very triumphant right now. I feel very royal. Ah, keep missing these chats. Our defenses are solid. We won't let a single monster get through. Wow, they have the no unique thoughts for themselves, do they? The Eastern Caves. So I'm going the wrong way here. Mad the Man says, I feel kind of left out, Jay. Left out what? I only had one name, apparently. I must have screwed something up, because I couldn't get more than one character named. You may pass. See, now this guy knows royalty when he sees it. Looks like we got some dog monsters here to fight. 
Come on, puppy. Whoa, it's a tiger. It's not the same thing. Defend, flee, forward, backward. Forward. Do I not have any... I guess he doesn't have any way to attack. That's not good. Soldier 1, dude. He also doesn't have... What is this? Oh, okay. No, we missed. There's a whole other menu here. Light or Starfire? Alright, we're gonna Starfire this. Bafel Tiger? Is that what that says? Iron Sword. Rapier. So, I can't use the Rapier in this position? Maybe I have to... Ooh! Use a bow. Wah! I got fanged! The animations are nice and quick. Starfire, let's do this. That's a cool name. That was awesome! Sweet magical spell, dude. Whoa! That thing literally went down to the grave, dude. And then this is JK. Nick says, Nintendo doesn't have any third party games. Then how do you explain Mario Party 3? Whoa! He's got a point about that. Blanner says, if steak is so great, how come there isn't steak too? St Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> is that what, in a comic book or something there? Lol. Compassion up, that's a weird statistic. Charisma. His bow skills have increased. That's good. Uh-oh. Now that is a much more dog-like creature there. I think you have to come forward, huh, if you're going to use your weapon. What is the name of this enemy? Did you see that? I'm not even going to attempt that. It looks like something long in Latin. Ooh, miss. Starfire. Dang, that's awesome. Yes! Nick says, if the Activision says Black Ops 4 isn't planned for Switch, does that mean it's official? Or is there any chance they're just covering up for an E3 reveal or something? Oh yeah, there's always a chance they could be doing something like that. Uh, I'm still not convinced it will come to Switch. I'd love to see, like, the Zombies mode come to Switch, like, as its own thing, even. I think that'd be kind of fun. You come forward. Does this guy have a bow, I wonder? He does not. So he can't use his sword from there, so he'll have to come forward as well. Soldier 2. He's got that sword going. Ba bam Ow. Sweet! Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I don't like if it's not coming because that's a bad sign for third-party support, but we'll see. It's a, it's possible that they might give special versions of Call of Duty games, you know, maybe not the main version. Which is weird, but they did it all throughout the Wii era, so totally possible. Let's see if this guy's bow is effective from this far back. I stabbed thee. Nice. Mad Bounce says, I'm checking out great deals for the Gen 1 PS3 Gumtree. It's like five times better than eBay. What? Gumtree? Never heard of it. I'm out of magic. I would love to have more magic before we fight. Two on one! Oh boy. Oh, I do have an iron sword. Thank goodness. Come forward. Does this guy have a... No, he does not have a bow. Come forward. No, don't use the bull. bow. Use the rapier.
Bam! He looks like a very skinny, like, lion standing up, doesn't he? Holding a sword and shield. You know, anthropomorphic-like. This guy still needs to come forward one more row. The position is interesting. I mean, it means that only certain attacks can hit certain positions on the field. I think that is an interesting take. Iron sword. Iron sword. Rapier. I'm actually going to bow this guy if I can. Increase those bow skills. Ooh, yes! Close range. Madman says, I recommend Gumtree for all your gaming needs. I've never heard of it. I'll have to check it out. Sounds good to me, man. Dexterity, agility, compassion. I was looking for bow skills, but that's cool. Nick Figure says, Black Ops 4 was first leaked through a Switch version before the actual game was even announced. That's the only thing that has me hoping it's still coming. I hope so. I really do hope so. I really only care about the zombie thing, the zombie mode, and it sounds like they're really revamping the zombie mode, so I'm actually really looking forward to that, but just saying, the zombies is what matters to me, personally. I hope that it is coming as well, simply because the Switch could really benefit from that kind of third-party support. It, I think it would sing, signal in a bunch of other support, especially if it does pretty well. It doesn't have to do, like, amazing, but if it did okay, that would get you some support from other publishers as well. EA also noticeably pretty absent at the moment. Is there any way... Oh, this is good. Message speed. Position. Who's the guy that's got the bow? Not really sure what this means, though. Hmm, I don't know. Thought maybe you could rest in your bed, but that appears to not be the case. Hmm, I guess we'll have to go without. It's eight viewers watching right now. Thank you for watching, folks. As a reminder, please like this live video. That helps me out a lot. It gets the video into the hands of other folks that might not be aware of the channel or so forth. Thanks to YouTube's uh, various... Hey, there we go. Queen Mother helps us due to uh, YouTube's algorithms, so liking the video helps me out a lot. Okay, so there's a cave to the east that we need to get to. It's our primary concern. Potato says, do you know Castle, Cra Castle Crashers? I think you just asked me this last stream, and I think I've heard of... Oh my goodness. I think I've heard of it, but... I don't, don't really remember anything about it. Oh boy, this is a big fight. I don't know if I can handle this many guys. This is, this is a lot. Go for this bad boy down here. Whew. Thankfully, they don't appear to be particularly strong, so that's helpful. Bling! They're largely defending, so they're all wimps then, is what they're saying. They're all running scared. I guess we have no reason to be afraid then. But by him. Take that, puppy. And the man says, for how much did you get the Atari Lynx for? Um, so, uh, on eBay, uh, through an auction, not through a buy it now, I was able to get my hands on a Lynx 1 in working condition. The screen was in good shape. Um, with 13 games, many of them are actually more expensive games, not, not cheap games. Um, in all games that I wanted to get anyway, and a case, which held all the games and the system, um, and a couple of random manuals. So all that stuff, the I got all of that for 135 bucks on eBay. 
Uh, when I looked up the value of the games alone, the games by themselves were worth like $170. Plus the system, plus the case. I mean, it was a pretty sweet deal. Are you going to look that up on Gumtree? Is that what you're going to look for? It's a little bit hard to compare to if you don't have like the exact same number of, or like exact same distribution of the same 13 games and stuff, but I'd still be curious to see what you find it for. And then I got the links too for free. So I had recently joined a group um, on Facebook that was like local retro game collectors. And I was asking the group about link stuff some guy said, I have some games that you can buy from me if you like. And uh, he said he wasn't really playing his Lynx 2 anymore, and so he just gave it to me. So it has a capacitor issue, which we can fix. But uh, I was very impressed that uh, this really nice guy was just like, Hey, you seem like a cool guy. Have my Atari Lynx 2. Okay, yeah, no problem. We should probably move on to the second game in my box here. So, this is cool. I love it. RPGs, obviously, you can play for many, 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 many hours. So, that's going to go on and on. We're going to leave this up, and I'm going to go put in the second game, Road Rash 3D on PlayStation 1. So, this will be cool. All right, I got to switch a few things, so I'll be right back here. Okay, let's hope this uh, memory card has some space on it. Uh, Matt the Bam says, On Gumtree, I just found Atari Lynx 2 with nine games, power adapter, and a soft carry case, and a manual, and poster for 130 pounds. What's that in US dollars? I'm going to guess somewhere around $200. That's my guess. Seems like a pretty decent deal. Not amazing, but decent. So this is so 90s. The hardcore punk music, these really corny videos of the the various uh, opponents that you face, of events that happen when you win or lose. So when something when you win, you know you get first place. You uh, your character does something to the other racers. Like some sort of prank or like, you know, he kicks him or something and he falls over. Uh, or if you lose, they like beat you up or something. So it's interesting, these uh, full motion video kind of things here. I mean, just look at how corny this is. It's awful and I love it. We'll see if the gameplay in the 3D one is good. I remember the 2D ones were for sure good. Road Rash on PlayStation 1. Uh, it's a port of the original, an enhanced port. That one's super good. I don't remember anything really about this 3D one, so we'll see if this is good. Nick Figure says, I want the Atari box just for the sake of having a current gen Atari system. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Uh, they call it the Atari VCS now. Dolores says, GTA 1 and 2 much? Oh yeah, did they have a lot of that kind of stuff in here too? Of course, these games started on Genesis, so... GTA 1 and 2 would probably take inspiration from Road Rash. Just putting that out there. 
Mad the Madness of the Games are Kung Fu, Slime World. Oh, Slime World's so good. Batman Returns, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Chips Challenge. Chips Challenge is awesome. Shadow of the Beast, California Games, Ninja Gaiden, and Awesome Golf. There's a few good games in there for sure. For sure, for sure. Thrash Big Game Time Trials. And for some reason, the restroom, which is really just the options area. I'm not really sure what these game modes are, is the thing about it. So I don't know if we want Thrash or Big Game. This soundtrack, though. Let's try Thrash. Oh my goodness. Duomoto. I thought it said Duo. I was like, oh, where's Duo? Bossy says, this looks like my kind of game. Yeah, it is. Let's see, how much can we afford here? Firecracker. Nasty little two-banger. Fast but twitchy for a starter bike. The Duomodo 500. A blast from the past. Quick with torque and good maneuverability. The Scavenger 450. Punchy, tough, and loose. This ride can take a lickin' and keep on tickin'. Nope. Take a lickin' and keep on kickin'. Because you do some kicking in this game. The Rattler. Lots of low-end power and pure poison in the straightaways. It's a cool looking chopper looking bike. Hmm. Technically, this one seems to be the fastest to 450. I don't know. Kind of thinking this one or this one. I'm going to go with the Rattler. Let's start thrashing. Nick Figure says, if the multiverse theory is true, does that mean there's a universe where it isn't true? Whoa. Maybe. And maybe that's this one. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Dig those early 3D graphics. Where's my punch? Whoa. Wheeling around those corners. Okay, square appears to be break. Circle appears to be punch. Is there a separate kick or no? Oh! Is triangle jump? Is there a jump button? Ugh. Unsure. I can charge up a punch, though. That's ridiculous. Yeah, baby. While well, I'm racing well. At this point. Earlier, there were some huge mistakes. Ugh! Back off, punk. It's hard to tell if I've actually hit anybody. Whoa. Can you say glitch much? My goodness. Some hit detection issues there. Should have flown off the bike about five times there. Is there a kick option? How do I kick? There's just a jab. And there's like a hold and swing hard. Ugh! Ugh! Stop going from side to side! Is that a wheelie? Can't really tell. Okay. Now, if you punch these guys when they're trying to hit you with one of their weapons, you steal their weapon. So that's really cool. It just appears to be very hard to do combat in this one. That was kind of the downfall of some of the Road Rash games, is the racing was either good with bad combat, or the combat was good with bad racing. So. This one appears to be good racing, bad combat, also glitchy. So perhaps good nothing. <laughs> I don't know. It seems okay. There! I stole his board! Oh, did I break it though? There we go. It's like I only use it for some things. I make sure I'm using the board all the time. Just gonna wind up and get ready to hit this guy. Yeah! Fourth place. If we can take this guy out, we'll be in the top three. Ugh. 
Well, it is maneuverable. We haven't wiped out yet. I believe if I hit the gas twice, I'll wheelie. Oh! There's our first wipeout. That's what we like to see. I was going to see if I could wheelie. Uh, in some of the games, you can wheelie, and then whenever you hit objects, they just launch you in the air versus actually hitting you. So I was going to try and test that on that car. It didn't work. Come on, baby. Whoa, I got all the way up to second. Must be some sort of crazy event happening there. Just a bloodbath. Oh, no. Uh. 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 Don't do it. Oh, ouch. Mad the Bam has to go see Mad the Bam. Bossy says, was that Big Al? Oh. Maybe. I think all the racers do have names. Ah, see, I kept trying to do the wheelie over that thing. Buffalo says, streaming anymore after this, Jay? Yeah, after the Retro Game Treasure Box, I do have one more stream planned. Woo! I am no longer doing well. I am definitively doing quite poorly. Let's see if we can pass a few people, though. Oh! I finished with a giant... Oh, my goodness! Everyone's getting wrecked at the finish line. Woof. Nick figures says, if Nintendo gets rid of Reggie, we will protest in Japan and exercise our American right in a foreign country. Reggie's awesome, but he's already rising ranks. You never know where he's going to go. Not in Kansas. All right, what did we do? We did this guy, right? Let's be this thing, the firecracker. That's a weird one. I'm not seeing those full motion videos. We might have to have done a different mode. The big, what do they call it? The big race, maybe? Yeah, I liked Reggie, especially in the days when Nintendo were still doing live presentations. But since then, they haven't really been doing those. So I feel like they may take Reggie away from the spotlight if he's not going to be doing presentations, you know? We may get a new Nintendo of America president. Whoa! Oh yeah. It is a little twitchy, isn't it? Whew. Yeah, she's fast, but man, not easy to handle. Gotta use my brake more, I think. Rising through the ranks. Oh, those guys are fighting it out. See you loses. Oh, no. How did I not get hit there? Lucky me. Come on. Stop this. Stop this madness. I'm ready to hit somebody. Oh, plot twist. I didn't hit somebody the way that I thought. <laughs> I hit somebody as in their car. Boy, it's really thundering outside now. It was so sunny before. The weather really changed on me. I like how he's swinging his fist around. Really getting ready for a big hit. Fifth, okay. This is good. Oh, what you want, punk? He was getting ready for the big swing on me. 
Watching somebody else wipe out is very satisfying. Second place! Go baby go! So, normally there's like a big story mode where you like kind of tour the US or tour the world or something. And you earn money on each race to try and buy nicer bikes, to buy upgrades for the bikes and stuff. Um, so that you are faster and, and whatnot. That's right, I said whatnot. Ugh, come on! Um, so apparently Thrash is not the right mode for that. That must be like quick play. Hard to know, because it's not a term that's thrown around much. We're doing this, man. We're in first. Come on. Let's see that finish line. It's right on me. There he is. Ah, I took the board away from him. Oh, I can't believe we didn't wipe out. Is that the finish line? I think it might be. Oh, he almost took it from me, but we did it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's see. Nick Figure says Nintendo says they may focus more on games over power, but doesn't that contradict itself with the fact that you're also sacrificing first third party games potential by limiting hardware it's on? Eh. They were okay with it in the Wii era since they clearly won that one, so. Time will tell. Time will tell. Yeah, we qualified not in Kansas. Grandma's house. Excellent. But we wanted a different mode, didn't we? We wanted to see what big game was. All right. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I was thinking. So top speed. Oh, this thing had a really high top speed too, though. Better acceleration. Traction is worse. Durability is better. That thing's pretty balanced. And we got 5,000 bucks. Okay, we can buy any of this. This thing seems to make the most sense, honestly. We're going for this guy. Noise. Nintendo Toxis Road Rash. Yes, Road Rash 3D. Simon, you finally made it to one of these. What's up, dude? It's been a while, man. Grandma's house or Skyline? Let's do Grandma's house, because, come on, it's Grandma's house. After this race, we're going to move on to the next game here. Nintendo Talk says, this game is such a gem. Yeah, yeah, I think I liked the original non-3D ones better, but this style, the attitude of these 90s ones, so sweet. I loved that you were fighting and racing, man. And uh, they recently... Not they. It's not from EA. It's an indie game came out recently called. Um, oh man, I kickstarted. I back to this game on Kickstarter. Why am I forgetting what it's called? I thought it was something with Road in the title as well. Well, I can't remember. But there's an indie game. That's basically Road Rash, and uh, it's really good actually. Whoa. So uh, if you're itching for new Road Rash, not sure what to tell you, what the name is. I have to go look it up now. <laughs> but uh, know that there was a more recent game that came out. So I believe in this one, there is multiple different paths you can go. Um, so you can like go the wrong way. I just ran over a pedestrian. That's upsetting. Um, usually there's cops, so you have to outrun the cops, or you can hit them off their bike as well. But if you wipe out and a cop catches up to you, then they, or if they knock you off of your bike, then they arrest you. You lose money, you might not be able to continue the, the campaign. So, it's, it's really cool. Whoa! I like when you get air, it's always fun. Gotta be going fast enough, though. 
Yes! Took his plank off of him. So ready to hit somebody with this. Come here. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's got a chain. Now I got a chain. Yes! All right, sixth place, I got a chain. It's looking up. Bam! I can't really tell from really hitting these guys. It's not very clear. Whip, I think I'm hitting them. They got a health meter. Maybe I need to be looking at their health meters. But that gets your eyes off the road. It seems dangerous. Oh no! Slid off the bike. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Still sixth though, that's not bad. I'll take that. Fifth? That dude was wiped out. Fourth? Oh, it's looking better all the time. Still got the chain. A couple of punks up here begging to get beat up. Oh no, oh no! In the real life, of course, that would be uh, a wipeout to my death there, but in this game, we survived. Oh. Ow! Rough wipeout, dude. Now then, this is back Coleco on Kickstarter. Jay, you said you would. I already have. I already have. I'm going to get both cabinets, dude. Going for it. Simon says, it's a scam. Don't. No, 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 no. The other one you're thinking of, the Coleco Chameleon, that was not Coleco's doing. That was another company, and then Coleco, without looking into it as much as they should have, uh, became an official sponsor, right, and allowed them to use their name. Then when all the stuff came out, they were like, oh no, we've backed the wrong horse, and they got out of it. This is re-releases, or, or making new arcade cabinets like they used to in the 80s. So it's actually really cool. So, yes. Already backed. Sometimes it's a messing around. Yeah, that Coleco Chameleon business. That was messed up, man. But like I said, not their fault. Here! This is what I'm talking about. So sixth place. Let's see what video this gets us. Good or bad. They seem to be... passing me by. Are they gonna knock me off my bike? Loser! Okay, it wasn't particularly good or bad, but they called you a loser. And we only got 390 bucks. So when you go to the uh, shop and you try and buy stuff, like, hey, I want to buy a nicer bike. Ooh, yes. Really nice bikes. We don't have the money to upgrade, so... Oh, those stats are so much better. Sweet. We got to move on to our next game here, though. Boss says, why is there a homer screaming? Woohoo! Because <laughs> why not? Okay. Moving on to Sonic Spinball on Genesis. Again, this case is in excellent condition, all of it. Very nice. Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball. I feel bad playing with this wireless SNES controller, but I'm not going to put in something different. Ooh, those sprites, man. Looks great. Let's do it. Boss just says, yes, Sonic Spinball. You need what? Yo, move it. Okay, so that... Okay. Got my two flippers determined. Nice. Looks good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought 
thought I hit that flipper. Must hit the wrong one. Ah! It's the opposite of what I expect. No wonder. The buttons! Okay, so this is garbage. Uh, <laughs> based on the way that I have things set up right now, it's the opposite flipper for the side of the controller that you would think. So the left button is pressing, or is making the right flipper go, and the right button is making the left flipper go. So... Come on! Cool, so I wonder how many, um different like tables there are if you would call them tables in this oh! no don't do it Sonic no no stop it Sonic the buttons the buttons so it's kind of a no-lose situation it seems Unless you do that. Mad Bam says, in Kickstarter you have to have a working prototype, but you don't in Indiegogo. Interesting. Mad the Bam says, this game is so good. I'm liking the music, it's very bass heavy. Not always common in, in Sonic games to have heavy bass. There we go. I want to go up that way. I want to see what's up there. Those sideways are the ones I want to check out the most. Doo -doo. Ooh. Interesting. Ah. It's not quite where I want to go. Where's the jump button? Come on, dude. Great escape. I guess I could just press both buttons and make them both go all every, every time, but it does leave you open to some... Hey, there we go! Didn't change a lot, but it did something, I guess. We got all the dudes in this area. Up there, yes! What's up this way? What's that up there? Get that. Yes! What is it? Ooh, it's a Chaos Emerald. All right. So now what? Ooh, now these open up. Sweet. Ooh, it's a sub table. I love that. A table within a table. Sewer warp, weird. This is a cool looking game, man. It's very detailed. It plays nice and smooth as far as a crazy Sonic pinball game goes. Sometimes these old pinball simulations are pretty clunky, but this one seems pretty good. Oh no! There we go. Ah! Come on, there we go. Somewhere productive. Ooh, that's new. Go for the cart. What does that mean? Hey, what's up, Poco? Don't know. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know when I'm done. Yeah. We're embagged. Not sure what that means, but we done it. Bridge is up. This is interesting. It's sort of like an adventure of its own here. It's sort of its own Sonic adventure, but you don't ever really use your legs. You're only ever in Sonic mode. 
Oh, there we go. Nice. Ooh, a third table. What? What is happening? I'm so confused. We got a emerald. A chaos emerald. Nice. Where are we headed? Sweet. This is awesome. Boy, what a great game. I like when they take pinball games because it's a video game and they do something unique with it. It doesn't just straight up emulate straight pinball, you know? It gives it a video game flair. Hang on, I gotta check some chats here. Mad Lebanon says, I played this on my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do they call it Sega Forever or something like that? Good stuff. Simon says, I'm not being serious. There was some discussion about Kickstarter being scam. It was all just ribbing each other. This is your first Sega game, was it? Nice. On Genesis, or did you have it on another system? I think it also was on Master System and Game Gear. Of course, 8-bit versions, it wouldn't have looked or sounded as good as this, but I'm sure it was still fun. Now I want to play the 8-bit version of it. Uh, all I want is to go into that tube on the left. It's all I want. The worm loop. Oh, see, up there. Yes! Because this is where... It gets crazy. Would you get up there, Sonic? You're close, dude. There we are. We're back on the minecart. Ooh, this is new. It's a similar table, but in a different spot on the map. Busting a move. I'm really good at hitting that one teleporter over and over again. That much I'm good at. Noise. Get him! There she goes again. Oh, that was going to go in if not for that robotic stork guy. Whatever he is. There we are. All right, that is almost ready then. We can, next time we go in there, it should get us to a new section of the map. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, baby, you can do it. A little earlier. There. That's the one. Let's see. Um... Man, the Bam says, I hope the game theorists stream today. Not sure who they are. Dolores says, my first game is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Oh, yeah, and GameCube. Good stuff. A port of the Dreamcast game. Uh, Dolores was just correcting a misspelling. Uh, Man, the Bam says, I played this long before Sega Forever was a thing. Oh, cool, cool. Good, good. Well, we got this original version right here, and what a great addition to my collection. Really glad to have this. I have most of the Sonic games... Um, on Genesis, also on Game Gear. So I'm uh, building up a nice little Sonic collection, but I did not have this game. So glad to have it. Hey, go somewhere useful. A little earlier. That's the one. No! Yes! I need two more emeralds, huh? Oh, we can't really play that one yet. Interesting. We gotta get more chaos emeralds. Hmm, so how do I gotta do that? As we keep getting over there. Hmm. It is what it is. Let's go down this way again. Oh, I guess we're kind of forced this way until maybe we get a Chaos Emerald in this area? Maybe we have to go in the Worm Loop? 
Oh, we've opened that bridge now. Okay. Maybe that'll get us a new Chaos Emerald. Seems possible. Okay, something else just cleared as well. Need two more, yes. Okay, that bridge is open. Is this... Yes! Ba-bam! We got two Chaos Emeralds. Sweet. Let's go up this way. Exactly where we were. Got it. Simon says, hey, Dolores. So, we still need one more of these things before we can get up here. So, oh, there it is. We got all the emeralds collected. Nice. Let's not die before we get this. We gotta get out of here. Gotta get all the way back to the top of the level again. Go, buddy, go. Is this it? No, I think we gotta go up one more level. And we got one more game to play. This is a good box. We got some good stuff. There we go. It's open! Are we facing a boss now? Potentially. Oh yeah, look at that. Dr. Robotnik. Oh no, did that kill me? Oh, sad. -da 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 -da. That punchy bass that the Sega Genesis is good for. I love it. That sound chip is so unique. All right, we got to move on to our next game here, but awesome. Really happy to have that one in my collection. Come on. Last couple of chats here. Uh, so, uh, sorry, Dolores says Sonic is forced to play pinball. I get you, did Sonic forces. Matthew Pam says, I've got the best phone in the world. A Razer phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. That gaming phone. Yeah, that's really awesome. You got a Razer phone. Nice. Someone says, I got knife phone. I win. What is that? Some sort of meme? Okay, that was Sonic Spinball. Now we're going to move on to California games for Sega Master System. So 8-bit game. I've played the 16-bit version on the Atari Lynx. We'll see if this is better or worse than that. Got to use this big old adapter in my Retron 5 to be able to play it. Load it up nice and quick. Playing Louie Louie. Oh yeah, that's a very square resolution there. <laughs> Someone says, California games? Dear Lord. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let's practice some events before we go do we're trying to do all of them. Half pipe foot bag, as in hacky sack. Surfing, skating, BMX, and flying disc. This has twice as many things that was in the Atari Lynx version. They had surfing, hacky sack, surfing. Sorry, let's go this way so I don't lose my train of thought. Hacky sack, surfing. BMX. I don't think that they had half pipe or skating or flying disc. So do surfing, which was the big one that everyone loved on Atari Lynx. 
First of all, it's going the opposite direction on the links. It's going right to left. Nope, that's not helping. Come on, dude. There you go. Oh, fail. These games, man, you got to get good with these games. Oh, it caught up to me so quickly. Uh, Dolores says, Mario and Sonic at the California games, right? Wah, 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 fail. Uh, Mad Man says, Razor is working with Square to get the console version of Final Fantasy XV. That'd be sweet. On a phone? That'd be awesome. Ah! I jumped behind the wave. I gotta say, it probably looked better on the Atari Lynx, honestly. You're supposed to be able to sort of like a half pipe, be able to fly up and do a flip. But whenever I try and do it, the wave seems to catch me. Look at that little shark coming to get you. Okay, so that's that's rough. It's not easy. If I stay alive, is that enough to get me enough points to to live? How does that not land me? Hmm. Confused about the technical aspects of this game. Oh no! That's the judge's rating and it was awful. You seem to go pretty quick right in the center here. So if I fly up a little bit and come back down... Hmm. Maybe I have to come at an angle to land again. Dolphin doing the backwards swim thing. Wish I could do that in real life. Hmm, I mean, I, I guess I was still a little bit vertical there. Maybe I still need to do it in a more angular fashion. All right, we got to go here to gain some speed. Down, up. I cannot spin fast enough, it seems. All right, we got to do a different event here. We're obviously failing at this event so hard. I think this is our last attempt. Don't have enough speed. Give us our failing score so we can move on to a different game. 0.6 is my average. Can you practice? No. Get me out of here. All right, next practice. Let's do foot bag. All right. So that's using your head. And that's using your feet. Boy, that's, that's not easy either, is it? I know you can get it to the point where you can actually hit the seagull. That's what everybody wanted to do. Hit the seagull. Come on, dude. Hack the sack. Isn't that the term everyone uses for hacky sack? Hack it. Hack it good. No? I gotta do this better. I keep trying to do a double hit with the head, but that never seems to work out. Man, good thing this isn't an Olympic game, because, whew, not super thrilling there. He's hitting a bag with his feet or head. Doing a knee juggle. Not sure what the rules are for how it hits just right. At least it wasn't nearly as bad as... The uh, surfing went. Okay, let's try the half pipe, I guess. Uh, Yusuke says, this game from NES? Uh, this is Sega's version of the NES. This was called the Sega Master System. So, 8-bit era, but this is actually more powerful than the NES and has a better color palette. If you can't tell, these colors are super bright and crisp, which is more than the NES could really do. Someone says, this game, or games, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Matthew Bama says, what is your least favorite game, Jay? Are you talking about this box? 
because what did we have here? Pr probably this game, right? Because we had Romancing Saga um, and Sonic Spinball, California games. Am I missing one? Did I miss one? Oh, and Road Rash 3D. This one's probably the least favorite. Because a lot of these sporting games, you had to really know what the heck was going on. <coughs> and I really don't know how to play these games, obviously. So it's hard to enjoy them when you don't even know how to play them. Like, what am I doing here? The buttons don't seem to do anything. I'm gaining some speed. Now what? Oh! I did one trick! Cool. Finally got myself to do one trick. Go faster, man. Why is he going so slow this time? Man, I thought I understood what was making him go faster, but I think I was wrong about that. How did I do that? Yeah, oh, held on too long. Come on, we can do this. Hand plan, baby! Oh. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of this. Oh no! <coughs> Something in my throat! Jamie Payette, what is up, dude? He says, uh, hi. Everyone's greeting each other. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, least favorite game overall? Oh, gee, I have no idea. I have no idea what my least favorite game of all time is. It's not worth tracking, you know? How did I do that little twist? I don't even know how I'm doing some of these things. It's just sort of happening. Oh, no, I'm losing speed. What do I do? Come on. Faster. Do a trick. You can do this. Come on, dude. Yes. Oh, man. I'm mastering whatever the hand plant thing is. Yes. Good points there. Whew. It's really tough. Okay, we got one time for one more of these uh, these games in here. Oh, I didn't mean to practice this one again. Let's restart. Wrong button. Reset. Uh, everyone's greeting each other. So Simon says, "Jay, next game from Treasure Box, please." This is the last one, so this is all you get, man. This is all you get. Uh, flying disc. I'm sure this one is gold as well. Someone says, no Y commands? Okay, <laughs> tried to use a skip command, lol. Another one says, yes, the game theorists are streaming today. Okay, whoever that is. Speed and angle. I'm not sure what's going on here, but that was the worst throw of all time. I know that much. You see, there's like a partner that you're supposed to throw it to. What am I missing here? Are you guys understanding this at all? Like, there's that little meter, obviously. Speed and angle. So do I want it, like, in the middle? Do I want it all the way when she's all the way back? Is that... It's very confusing. Maybe I want to hit the button twice in a row? Because it seems like she's not releasing when I want her to release. I'm so confused right now. I need, like... Here, here's the instructions. 
Let's see what the instructions say about flying disc. E -de 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 -de. Half pipe. Could have been useful, but it's too late now. Foot bag. Juggling, surfing, roller skating. Hey, that might be kind of sweet. BMX racing. Okay, okay, flying disc. When one or two is pressed, the gauge in the screen lights up. We know that much. Move the D-pad left to start the needle advancing toward the speed end of the gauge. This tells you how fast you throw the disc. The color of the needle determines the speed. When it stops at green, the disc flies fastest, yellow is slower, red is slowest. As soon as the needle is on the speed zone, you move the D-pad to the right toward the angle portion of the gauge. When the needle stops at the green, the disc flies highest. Okay, so I'm just doing left and right. I think that's what it's telling me. Yes! And it works! Go, baby, go! Do not feed bears! I didn't make it to my partner, but hey, that was a much better throw. ba bam Go, disc, go! Still not gonna make my partner, is it? Ah! Come on, baby! Someone says, this is awful. Have mercy on us. Sorry, Jay, but it's the truth. This one is to put on the shelves and never touch. I think these games are more fun when you figure out how they actually work. Like, I'm somewhat enjoying it now that I understand. Oh, you control your partner up there, too. Old games can be so obtuse. Wait, I can make this work, guys. I can do it. I'll have my partner come catch it. There he is. Oh, do I have to press the button too? <sighs> Come on, I want one successful catch before we end this stream. You can do it. What was that? What was that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mad the Bam says, I feel like this is Jay in real life. What, this game? <laughs> That's like perfect. Come on. If you can't catch this now, you're completely inept. Seriously, what do I got to do here? Got to go back in the manual. How do I catch it? We got it to throw. James says, everyone, the, this game or Beauty and the Beast, the board game. Adventure. The board game adventure. Never forget that it was an adventure, sir. To catch the disc, the catcher must extend an arm, run the catcher toward the disc, then raise an arm or dive to catch it. How do I raise the arm? Up raises an arm. Okay, we're going to catch a flying disc before this is over, folks. I am determined to catch a disc. Okay. Yes! Yes! We finally got one. It's in the bag, folks. We know how to catch flying discs. Woo! Boy. So California Games, not necessarily the best game out there. But uh, we caught a flying disc, so it was all all worth it. Uh, Mad the Bam says ET2600. Simon says Beauty and the Beast board game. Adventure. You forget the adventure. It was a board game adventure. Uh, Simon says Superman 64. I actually did play lots of that as a kid. Lots and lots. Bossy says, Action 52. Jamin says, I will never forget that it was an adventure. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Simon says, Superman 64 multiplayer. That multiplayer was decent. Didn't make any sense, of course, because Superman was sitting in a spaceship flying around when he has the power to fly. But, you know, it made for a fun game. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Let's uh, get to the main menu so I don't have to listen to that music anymore. You guys are all the best. As a reminder... Retro Game Treasure Box, RetroGameTreasure.com. They send you random retro games according to your um, settings, like what systems you want to get games for, what type of games you want to get, and what games you already have so that you don't get any duplicates. So go to RetroGameTreasure.com, use the code 5J to get a discount on your first month. We got today... Uh, we opened Romancing Saga on Super Famicom. Super cool RPG. Road Rash 3D on PlayStation. 
and two boxed Sega Genesis games. Sorry, Sega games. One Genesis, one Master System, Sonic Spinball, and of course, California games. So, thanks so much for coming, guys, and uh, I will do another stream. Let's see. If I do another stream in one hour, that will put me at what time I normally stream games at 7 o'clock or 7.30, depending on the night. So why don't I say I will see you guys in an hour. Sound good? All right, guys, I'll catch you in an hour. Thanks for coming. See ya. Make sure you hit that like button.